106. Couple of numbers to look at. Offensive rebounding, 20 for Philadelphia. They're last in the league, averaging seven. Second chance points, 25 for Philly. They're last in the league, averaging eight a game. But they dominate those two categories. And the Nets now two and six when KD, Kyrie, and Ben all play. This game is crying for some post-game yakety yak. For me, I don't know. I feel, I feel like I'm in a good place, you know, for me to come in here and just play basketball. Um, I'm happy. I'm doing what I love. So, you know, to be out there and have that experience was amazing. I'm obviously, um, you know, it was loud in there, whatever, you know, chance. Um, but, you know, I, for me, I just had to focus on, you know, playing the game. Were you expecting it to be worse? Or? I thought it was going to be louder. Everybody wants to see our team fail. Nobody likes Ben. Nobody likes Kai. Nobody likes myself. So it might be like that in every road arena. You know what I'm saying? So it's just something we got to deal with. But I thought he did a great job of just handling it. Yo, know, it's just so much talk about the game uh, and about what's going to happen instead of the basketball part of it. Uh, we had two days. Now, you could tell our guys, they wanted to win the game. Uh, they really wanted to win the game. And, and that was what was on their mind. The moment before the game where you kind of jumped in the stands and interacted with the fans. Were you surprised at kind of the affection they were showing you? It was just nice to see, you know, I have support in Philadelphia still. I think I did some things in Philadelphia that can be respected and appreciated. You know, I don't think we all had bad times, so, um, you know, it was good to, you know, have moments like that. Hmm. The, re the reception he got, everybody expected to hear a lot of boos. That really is about all, all he, it was. He, he got boos, Chuck and all these Philly fans talking about you need extra security and all that. I knew it wasn't not going to happen. That, listen, they were upset. Uh, you know, the, the top guys didn't play. He got booed. Whippy freaking do. Played a good first half. I would have liked him to finish with that triple-double or finish with at least 20 points. But listen, you talk about how talented this team is. I'm telling you right now. They don't get it together in the next 10 games. They're not going to win a championship. They still have a chance to get it together. You got two of the top players in Kyrie and KD. And if Ben can play, keep playing consistent, Joe Harris hits some shots and they're getting a little rhythm, they can be dangerous. Everybody's talking about how dangerous they can be. But I said this earlier, championship mentality. Beat the teams you're supposed to beat. They're supposed to beat this team by 20 tonight. Be above 500 on the road and be dominant and unstoppable at home. I don't see any of that, so they don't have a shot at winning. This is what it is, Shaq. Too small. Like they have lineups that they put on the floor, where they they just can never. They always have to outskill you. You know, they, you know when you play against your younger brother, I'm just bigger than you. I'm gonna get this basket, and I'm more skilled than you. They outskill you every play. And that, to me, is not a recipe for a championship. At some point in this season, from a personnel standpoint, they're going to have to get bigger. And if they're going to play sharp, that comes off the bench, uh, you know, the second-year player, uh, or they're going to bring in someone. But they are much too small, much too thin. You can easily offensive rebound against them. And the teams like this, you post up Tobias Harris, and he's getting easy shots. Everyone's posting them up. They're just too small for too many long stints of the game. No, give, Philly, no. give Philly credit, though. I'm give, no, but I want to say a couple. Number one, I, I disagree with you. It has nothing to do with their size. They just have zero mental toughness. Zero. They have zero mental toughness. They don't hold each other accountable. That's the first thing. They do not hold each other accountable. Everybody kind of does their own thing. But uh, Doc Rivers said something that was very profound. He says, you know, guys talk about all this other noise. My team really wanted to win the game. My, he says, you know, my team was like, we really want to win this game. On demand, they want to win a game to send a message to Ben Simmons. And then if you go to the New Jersey side, if I'm KD and Kyrie, I'm like, well, we're the two best players in the building. They got, they're missing their three best players. Let's protect Ben and send them a message. And it was totally the opposite. And Doc Rivers touched it. My team really want to win this game. KD, by the way, 20 on this night. So he had a streak of scoring at least 25 in every game this season. That one was snapped. And Brooklyn had its uh, short little two-game winning streak snapped. 115 to 106. Yeah, it is. No, Philadelphia not. has won four of their last five. Don't you correct the godfather uh, on that? Yeah, we've got, we've got more streak? highlights. Ernest, Kenny said it's it not a streak. Kenny, it is, it is five a streak. games is a streak. No, come on.
Just, I guess, for starters, where did things go left tonight? Uh, just our attention to detail. I uh, just wasn't there tonight. Harry, why do you think that defensive intensity has been so hit or miss recently? Uh, it's my second game back, so I'm just trying to get my feet underneath me um, and try to fit in uh, with everybody for the time being. Just back. Is that me? Or is that the cell phones? I'm good? All right. Uh, yeah, just trying to get back into the flow of things. And uh, we just got to look ourselves in the mirror and say that we didn't get an effort tonight. Um, and on defensive end, I, I just think it starts with our attention to detail. That's it. Kyrie, how do you think Ben handled the environment? I think he did well. I think he did well. Uh, obviously, we wanted to focus on our team win. Um, but the crowd's not going anywhere. So it's good to hear their, their loud voices, hear their boos. Um, and you know, next time, hopefully that motivates us to go out there and get that win a little bit more. Uh, you know, we had the lead early in the first half and then we gave it up. So I think he did well. Is there anything you say to him before the game or even during it when they're doing that stuff? Or is that just giving it more attention than it, than it needs maybe? Just got to go through it. Just got to go through it. Um, stay confident. Do you think it's one of those hurdles that he had to get through to to get to the next phase of, of his own season? What, what kind of hurdle? Like mental, mental hurdle, hurdle yeah. or just? Uh, hurdle. Yeah, I think we all do. As professionals uh, coming into an environment where you want to play well, it's against your former team. Uh, I think it is a mental hurdle that you have to get over. He, he played extremely well a game ago and then came in tonight. I think he played well tonight. Um, and, and we just got to be there for one another uh, and support each other. It was just one game against the Philadelphia 76ers. Obviously, it was a lot of emotions, but uh, we got to focus in again. How tough was it for you not to make this just a normal game? How tough was it for you to make this a normal game and not anything else? No, I heard you. I heard you. I was just thinking a little time. Um, for me, I don't know. I feel, I feel like I'm in a good place, you know, for me to come in here and just play basketball. Um, I'm happy. I'm doing what I love. So, you know, to be out there and have that experience was amazing. Obviously, it wasn't the result we wanted. It's frustrating to lose um, a game like that. But, you know, um, I think it's a good step forward. Ben, do you view tonight as a hurl you kind of needed to get over, given all the discourse and chatter around you coming back here just so you could kind of progress from your career here on out? I think it's going to be like this forever. I mean, I don't, I don't really see it changing. But um, yeah, I think it's, you know, every opportunity to go, you know, especially a, an experience like this uh, to play in Philadelphia. You know, I haven't played here yet. So um, obviously, it's, it's one step, you know, in the right direction for me um, as a player. And uh, I think it was a good experience. And yeah. I think everybody in the arena thought that with no Joel, no James, no Tyrese, you guys would have won this game. Just where did things go left? Uh, way too many threes. Um, I think defensively we didn't, you know, cover our matchups. You know, they they ran a few plays from Tobias consistently where we didn't make any changes, um, and it looked like we was a little tired or just sluggish or whatever it was. I don't know what it was, but you know, we got to be better in terms of energy, uh, you know, coming into games. And why do you think that defensive intensity is so hit or miss right now with this group? I don't know. I think it's a uh, it's one of those things where you know we got to be, we got to have some pride too. We got to take it play by play. Um, you know, make sure we get our, our matchups right and and guard. You know, for me personally, I think you know it's, it's a pride thing. You gotta you gotta be willing to you know guard guard whoever it is you have and uh, you know do your job. Ben, you had the hot start of the three assists. I mean, did you have a moment early on in the game where you kind of realized like our crowd's not going to be a problem for me? I'm just going to be able to play tonight without an issue. Still, so, I'm sorry. Just with the hot start you had and everything, did you have a moment early in the game tonight where you you kind of realized like the crowd wasn't going to be an issue for you at all? Um, they weren't out there on the floor, so <laughs> I didn't feel like they were going to be an issue either way. Um, obviously, um, you know it was loud in there, whatever you know, chance. Um, but you know, I, for me, I just had to focus on you know playing the game and, and making sure I was making the right plays for my teammates. Well, Ben, with, the, with that being said, did you were, were you expecting it to be worse or? I thought it was going to be louder. Yeah. You thought it was going to be louder? Yeah. yeah. You had the shrug early on from the two free throws? Yeah. What, what went into that? Nothing. <laughs> it's just it's basketball. You know, we, we're, we're people too. You know, we have emotions. It's just fun. You know, I try to enjoy the game at the same time. Um, so, yeah. Ben, you 
seems like you're, you're able to do a lot more on the court now and just a lot of hustle plays tonight and with the rest of the team, you know, a, a lax days go effort overall. Do you see yourself, you know, now transitioning to a guy who just leads by what he does?